I'm back with all the travels and the hackathon. So this time, let's push a lot of YouTube videos. So a few days ago, I posted a reel on my Instagram telling you about an amazing product, a free product, Locofy, which can turn your design into code and that too with a remarkably good piece of code. It's just not any editor which just generates code out of your Figma files. It generates quality code. A lot of you requested me that, hey, make a video about it. And I thought, why to just make a video? So in this video, I'm giving away two classic I write code t-shirt and I'll walk you through how you can win that. My world revolves mostly around the code, either building it, reviewing it, or maybe putting it in the production or maybe more reviewing it. Now recently, this plugin came to my attention when one of our designer was using this. Now this is absolutely free. He was telling me that, hey, we can actually now generate code from the Figma design. And I said, Oh gosh, another one of the plugin which generates crappy code out of the design and it says, no, this is not. And I immediately sat down there and tried and tested it out. And boy, oh boy, this is not any other code uh, producer. This generates quality code and you have so much of fine grain control over it. Not only that, you can actually uh, generate the UI for your React Native. And once when I was signing up, I saw that the plans of the future are pretty crazy. They're planning to roll it out for Flutter and even on the Swift UI. That would be really, really crazy. Recently, I spent so much of my time with the Swift UI that I really want to see this out. So let me walk you through and you have to follow along with me. Then I'll give you a small assignment and task. Those who will be completing it will be getting a classic I write code t-shirt. So let me walk you through along with that. And everybody can follow it. Figma runs in the browser. The plugin is absolutely free. So let's try it out. So. First of all, the name of the plugin is locofy.ai and there's a lot of AI involved in this one. So it turns the design into production. So this is all. And what got my attention is that you can actually get the code for React, HTML, CSS and even React Native. So the React code is not like just it generates everything out of the dump. You can actually fine grain, control the layer, which one you want to make a prop, which one you want to make a dynamic prop and how you can make more component out of it. I'll walk you through a simple example of that in a minute. So this is the basic idea of it. And then you can just go ahead and see and you'll get a little bit see that how many people are actually using it, the startups to enterprise and having a name of Zoho KPMG. Like there's a lot. There's a lot of people who are using it. So this is what we have as the basics of it. And this is their uh, way of telling that how we can actually uh, create a different code for different frameworks. We can actually use it with Figma, XD, whatever is your favorite, and you can just go ahead and work on with that. So this is all their brief agenda, how they go for that. I signed up for this one and it asks you a couple of questions, who you are, where you will be using it, what products you want to go for, what code you are using. I selected just basic React because that is going to do majority of our work. So once I did that, after that, let me walk you through that what I built. So this is a Figma file and again, not the not the classiest of the work, but still uh, we have tried to make it as good as possible. This is a basic landing page. So it has nothing much to do, basic classic landing page, a gray, a, a gray background, then a simple image, a form, basics like that. We have some numbers floating around, yes, a video component here, and then we have these component. Now we have these sections. Now one thing I've noticed with this plugin is, the more you put a refined grain control over the sections, you name your layers better, it actually does a lot of help for you in the future, which is really tricky for a non-designer like me who doesn't focus too much on designing their layers and naming them properly. Yeah, but uh, professional designers do that way better than me. So what you have to do all is after that, click on the plugin, install the Locofy plugin, which is pretty easy, and then click on this one. Now this gives you uh, all the basics like this. Let me walk you through how this is being done. First and foremost, you have to just select. So for example, you will be selecting the create new. And then you have to select your project name. Feel free to give it anything. The framework that you want to go for, in my case, it was React. And then we have more that are coming up like React Native and stuff. And then obviously I went with TypeScript because why not? And then I chose Tailwind for this one because yeah, of course it's a Tailwind time. And uh, then I selected, called it as YT1 because YouTube one, why not? And then you can go ahead and select your layers and stuff. Before you select your layers and stuff, I want to bring your attention onto drag and drop. This is something which is going to help uh, people like me in the future who are not pro grade designer. We actually don't have that much of fine grain eye control to figure out whether this is a material UI or not. By having a brief look and a big overview, we can tell it, but brief look doesn't say it much. So what you can do is you can actually just drag and drop these material UI and whatever the UI that you're looking up for. 
So whenever I want to design a page, instead of just figuring it out, hey, this should button, this rectangle should look like a button or something, I can just drag and drop them and change the properties. So Chakra UI and design bootstrap and material, pretty much everything is there and all the components. So you can just drag and drop and build the website. So in case you are doing a prototype work, I think you can start with a pretty good design. That's uh, really fun. Again, uh, this was not the part of the focus of the video. And then once you have selected, you can actually go ahead and manually select your layers or you can just turn on this AI, which does everything for you. It gives you some recommendation that, hey, you just think that, is it a button or not? And you have to just accept the recommendation. Yes, I tried it out and took some time. It's not like you can just do that within a few seconds. Take a few good minutes, but worth it. And then all the things, all I did is just check mark that, yeah, this is a button, this is a button, this is a button, this is a form. So all I did is just selecting all of that. Now, all I did after that is I can just hit the preview. The preview took some time. It's not was like immediate that came upon. Uh, it took some time. And again, this is something coming up from a non-designer and it was able to do it. Now, I saw in their video that you can actually make a different uh, breakpoints and can align your design in, in case you are a pro Figma guy and you can just go ahead and produce all the code which is mobile optimized as well. But uh, does a pretty good job for somebody like me who doesn't know much about the design. And then once you click on the view code, all you have to go is click on view code in the builder itself. Now, again, I said uh, ignore recommendation. I just want to just go for that. So this is all going to be building up. Now, this actually takes time, not much, but a couple of minutes and you can just view the code in Builder. I already have builded this up and all we got up here. So this is the builder that I was able to go ahead and see that. So you can see this is kind of a builder. So this is the top of the web page and all the things are available up here. Now, interesting part is, see, for example, let's just go. I tried it out with this one, but let me show you something interesting. Let's just say uh, this is something which is reproducible. You want to make this as a component, but this entire builder didn't do it. So all you have to do is make this as a component. So just make a component. What do you want to call this component? I want to call this one as YouTube. So let me go ahead and write this one up here. So YouTube, it's a Pascal case. I have to start with capital. So you, I don't like to start with capital case, but it's a component. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and create this one. And now the code is being generated and it's pretty good. You can just go ahead. In case you want to add values to the prop, you can go ahead and say that, hey, this will be a value that you can go ahead and add this one. So default value, what do you want to call this one? I want to call this one as test and save this. So this will be a test value that is being passed on. In case you don't pass any value, this will be doing all of this. So notice you can see that it not only generate the config file, there's a global CSS being available to you. And everything that you saw up here is now a component itself. So this, yeah, you got the component. All the component along with Tailwind. That is insane. That is insane. Pretty crazy. And with a customized fine grain control, I think that's already good. So this impressed me. I thought that, hey, let's go ahead and uh, share with all of you. Now, again, uh, something interesting that we can do here is, I understand a lot of people on my channel are not designers. So here is a challenge in front of you. Go ahead, open up the Figma. It's pretty open and easy and free to sign up. Go ahead and create at least one section, maybe not a full-fledged design, at least create one section and then try to use this plugin and generate some code out of it so that we can get more feedback that what kind of code you were able to produce and did you like the quality or not? I would be really happy to know this. And all you have to do is comment down in the comment section that, hey, I'm participating in the challenge. Then move on to my LinkedIn. There will be a post about this video. In the post, there will be comment section. In the comment section, just post a screenshot that uh, what you have built and are you happy with the code that is being generated. I'll be randomly selecting uh, two people from the LinkedIn, but I'll also check whether the comment is there on YouTube or not. And once that is, I'll ship a free t-shirt uh, only in India as of now, uh, classic I write code t-shirt. So I think that will help you to learn something new, get engaged with that and learn by building the stuff. So I hope you are all excited with this one. And stay tuned, a lot more videos are coming up. That's it for this one. Let's catch up in the next one.